What's up there? Since the beginning of time, the human race has gazed upward in wonder and asked this very same question. The night sky has inspired poets and artists. It has captivated the greatest minds from around the world and throughout history. Astronomers and physicists, philosophers and explorers, those who mapped our galaxy and continue to unlock its many mysteries. of the universe seemingly goes on for infinity in every direction, filled with stars too numerous to count, and galaxies that stretch for billions of light years. And yet, space is closer than you think. Only a short 62 miles above us, at what is known as the Kármán Line, is where the cosmic realm begins, and where space plays an important role in our everyday lives, impacting how we travel, how we entertain, and how we stay connected. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite, and with it, a global space race. Since then, thousands more have followed in its path. Circling our planet right now are communication satellites that connect us with friends and family on the other side of the world. They transmit your favorite movies and TV shows and allow you to shop with the press of a button. There are environmental monitoring or weather satellites that track threatening storm systems, study ocean currents, and detect heat signatures before they turn into major forest fires. And then there's GPS, the Global Positioning System, that helps you find your favorite restaurants, parks, and even planetariums. Each of these satellites follows its own path, or orbit, around this rock we call home. Most, like the Hubble Telescope and the International Space Station, fly close around the planet in low Earth orbit, or what is known as LEO for short. Others are thousands of miles above us in medium Earth orbit, or MEO. And there are even satellites that are more than 22,000 miles away in geosynchronous Earth orbit, or GEO. These three orbits, LEO, MEO, and GEO host a wide array of satellites that both protect and enable our modern way of life. In LEO, imaging and surveillance satellites keep a close eye on potential threats. They track deforestation, observe wildlife migration, and with modern radar technology, some can even see through the strongest of storms. In MEO, 31 GPS satellites work in perfect coordination with each other to pinpoint any location on Earth.
These GPS satellites help farmers gather crops by mapping their land and directing their harvesters. They help first responders reach those in need when every second counts. And they keep the economy moving by supporting international trade and connecting credit cards and ATMs to banks. Deeper in GEO, weather and communication satellites provide the most complete view, capable of seeing a third of the world's surface at one time. And before long, the realm beyond GEO will become the all-critical staging area for future lunar missions. And someday, human settlements on our celestial neighbor, the moon. The beauty and splendor of this solar system is shared by all. But for all its wonder, space is not without its challenges. With more countries launching satellites than ever before, and the dawn of commercial space travel now upon us, the highways around our planet are becoming increasingly congested. Over 50,000 objects, including debris from old satellites and rocket boosters, are being tracked in orbit around the Earth, racing along at 17,500 miles per hour. Powerful enough for something as small as a bolt to destroy a satellite the size of a city bus. Space is also a contested domain with the development of anti-satellite missiles. There are advanced attack satellites capable of dragging other satellites out of their orbit. An electromagnetic jamming that can disrupt the ability to transmit and receive communications. These challenges undermine our belief that the great expanse above us is meant to benefit all nations. Therefore, Space must be guarded. That responsibility rests on the shoulders of the United States Space Force. It is why they are called Guardians. As the first military service created for the 21st century, their mission is not to explore the cosmos, but to secure our nation's interest in, from, and to space to make it safe and accessible for science and commerce. And to work jointly with other military branches. The satellites that the Space Force develops, launches, and operates allow airmen to pilot the skies. They enable sailors to navigate the seas, both above and below. They guide Marines through dangerous, unfamiliar terrain in the dead of night. They make it possible for soldiers to relay vital intelligence from anywhere in the world. And when Mother Nature strikes, they assist emergency responders in delivering food and medical supplies precisely where they are needed most. Guardians must constantly defend these satellites as well as critical networks from cyber attacks. In 
and they utilize ground and space-based radars to detect missile launches whenever and wherever they occur. Whether we realize it or not, each of us is dependent on space. That is why the Space Force will never rest. Why as guardians, they are steadfast and forever maintain a watchful eye. The freedom of space and our place in it is worth protecting. Our way of life on this planet is worth protecting. stop answering the call to do so. So if you ever gaze at the stars and wonder about what is up there, you can look with a sense of hope and possibility. Because the future lies not over the horizon, but above us.